use brown sugar for the experiment. When it dissolves in water, it colors it in a visible way, which helps us to easily distinguish how much sugar there is in each container. We put two teaspoons of sugar into the first container, into the second, half a teaspoon, into the third, none. Next, we pour the same amount of warm water into each container. We see at once that the liquid acquires a lighter or darker color depending on the amount of sugar. Then, we mix the solution in the containers with a stirrer so that the sugar dissolves. Next, we add the same amount of yeast to each container, let's say about one tablespoon, and again mix thoroughly so that the yeast dissolves in the water. The next step is to attach a balloon to the top of each container. Make sure the balloons do not have any air in them. Then, we observe how the balloons slowly start to fill with air. In order to see the full effect, you should wait about five minutes. Once five minutes have passed, we look at our samples. The one which contains no sugar has an empty balloon because the yeast has not started to breathe. The one which contains the most sugar has a partially inflated balloon because the yeast has been breathing fairly intensively. And the one which contains a little sugar has the most inflated balloon because here the yeast has been breathing most intensively. What is the conclusion? Sugar is good, but we just need a little. If we eat too much sugar and do not use up the energy which it gives us, then the excess turns into fat in our body and we become obese.